Pisces, how are you Pisces? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. And if you are a returning soul, welcome back. Okay. All right, Pisces, as usual, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So if you have Pisces in any of those placements in your chart, this is just probably the reading for you. Okay. Still keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general. Now, this video will be published or well, uh, I will be focusing on the f energy of a full moon in Capricorn for this um, Monday, July 3rd, which is when this video will be or should be published. OK, now, even though I focus on that energy of that specific moon phase and the zodiac sign that the moon is at, uh, it doesn't mean that you have to watch this video exactly on that very specific moment. OK best time for you to watch my videos or my readings is when you come across them or if the title catches your attention okay so that's why my readings are timeless and they're general so that means that you should just i'm sorry i can't speak today pisces you should only take what resonates and leave the rest behind don't try to force fit anything okay don't go manifesting what is not meant for you Pisces, please do subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Hit the like button, especially if you enjoy this reading, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. All of that helps my channel grow. If you could do those three things for me, I would truly appreciate it. But I also like to hear feedback from my viewers. And uh, last but not least, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, or if you would like to make a kind of donation, Support my channel through those means. All the info is in the description box down below this video. Keep in mind that's the only way that you can contact me. There's no other way, and that I do not reach out to anyone offering my services. Okay, so please be aware of any scams, Pisces. Okay, give me a minute, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, Pisces, I just love that word, Pisces, it's got some, it's got the, like, it's got a pop to it, right, heart of the matter, current energy as you're dealing with, or will be dealing with soon. Okay, Knight of Pentacles, so... I don't know if you feel stuck or stagnant, things aren't moving. But, uh... I believe there's, this, there's a lot of... analytical... contemplation. You're analyzing things, you're studying. You're seeing the horizon that is being presented to you, before you, okay? You have this pentacle with a new opportunity, a new beginning, but you're not taking that first step, okay? Something's still holding you back. Okay, give me a second. The energy that's crossing you could be challenging you or it's a blockage for some of you. Boom. Okay, you're preventing this. Hmm, I see. So the ground before you. I, I, I picked this energy in another sign, I don't remember. I think it was Capricorn. Or Sagittarius, I don't. The point is, is that you see the ground before you as if it was like quicksand, muddy. It's not even. You feel that something bad is going to happen as soon as you take this first step into that new land that you are just standing 
and staring at been staring at for quite a long time you're not very sure you're not very certain about this new ground you think you might sink like quicksand you might get trapped in it it might be just the way it looks you're preventing this from happening you see you feel that this is going to happen if you take that first step and that's why you're stuck Hmm. Yeah, you don't want this to happen. Uh, sorry to say this, but you can't prevent what is divinely coming your way. It's coming one way or another, and you know it. You're just trying to make it take longer. This is the energy that's crowning you. In your conscious mind you do see clearly or it's just something constantly in your mind and i think this is just more than anything it's just clarity itself at night of swords is this clarity of knowing that things are going to change quite fast for you in a good way in a bad way i don't know you just see this rapid change, this rapid clarity, this rapid truth coming in. Very opposite to that Knight of Pentacle energy. It's this push-pull energy in your mind. I forgot to say Scorpio energy. You're preventing this. You're trying to prevent it. The energy below you in your subconscious mind, what you don't see clearly, but maybe you should, because the divine or your higher self would like you to focus more on this. It makes perfect sense. Hangman, Piscean energy. Try to get some clarity here. If you feel stuck, there's a reason for it, but don't just stay there stuck. Try to get a clear mind about what you can do to improve things. Connect with your higher self here, Pisces. This is Piscean energy, by the way. You're not stuck, it seems that way. But you see that position? It doesn't mean look, look like he's stuck. He's just hanging in there. Not doing much here, are you Pisces? Not taking action, you're not. You see this quick movement, this quick change, this. And I know you don't know if it's good or bad, but it's just coming. This clarity. And you don't know what to do. You're just stuck there looking at the horizon. Okay, give me a second, Pisces. Let's see. Okay, the energy behind you, for some of you, this could be a recent past. But this is also pushing you through the situation. It's the Two of Cups. Some balancing, some healing, some mirror talking. Just you talking and contemplating the situation with yourself, you know. That's you. You're both both of your divine energies it's that mirror talk but this could also be you talking with I don't know someone else it could be your partner a friend uh, something talking about the situation How things are stagnant. You're trying to balance things. You 
fear and uh, I don't know. Uh, are you associated with someone or could be a working partner? I don't know. But both of you have already sat down and spoke about what's happening here. And you can see, it's like both of you can see this tower moment coming. Okay? That's for some of you. But you're, you're being told here to get some clarity. Try to tap more into your divine side. And try to get a clearer mind of what's happening. This ground before you that you are so afraid of stepping into, I don't think it's as bad as it seems, but your mind is really playing tricks on you here. Because I think that this is a situation that you have already been through many times. And it's just like a, I think it's just a reaction. This is where you're going, headed to energy that's coming towards you for some of you in your near future. Three of Wands. Hoping some of you for the right moment for something to happen, or something to happen, for your ships to come. I don't know what to say about this energy. I don't think you should wait for anything. You, you have to take action. And stop waiting. Stop waiting for something to improve because it's not going to happen unless you are the one who takes this first step. It's like you're turning your back on. Not addressing the the, the, the the white elephant in the room. That's it's you're turning your back on it, trying to see if things will improve. If you just turn away, that's very Piscean. That's when our That's when our ass gets up in the clouds too much. I'm sorry to say it that way, but it's the truth. I'm a Pisces, I'm calling myself out here too, okay? Stop waiting for something to improve. You have to take action here, Pisces. I have to look at the bottom of the deck, yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's the Emperor's so Oath, we'll get to that in a minute. It's, it's, something was telling me, look at the bottom of the deck. It's it's you giving birth. You you have to, it's, it's, it's that. Yeah, this is how you see yourself, how you're responding to the situation. It's you're getting this clarity. Is that true? Is that, is that truth? Cutting that, that crown of ego, it, it's not, you're realizing that Things are not going to improve for you until you take action. And this is what that sword is, is telling you. It's that clarity. It's this is being true and loyal to yourself. Stop kidding yourself. You understand what I mean? Now, I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what your situation is, okay? Remember, I only read the energy, so you have to apply this Come on, you're the Pisces. You, you use your intuition. 
And help me out on this one, okay? You know your situation better than I do. The energy that's influencing you and supporting you, supporting you. Where did I say that? Maybe it's supporting you, but it's, well, it's surrounding you and influencing you, okay? It's a two of wands. You have to expand your vision, put yourself out there. You have the world in your hands, but you, you just have to, you have to do it and you know you have to. Because this energy is surrounding you, you're, you're feeling something, it's, it's time for you to just do it. Stop waiting. Some of you are going to have to take, leave something behind to finally take this step, okay? That's for some of you. It's something so that you don't spread your energy too thin. Doesn't mean that has to be permanent, but for now, I think you have to focus more on this one thing that you have to achieve to, 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 to go and just to go and plant that seed, take this opportunity and do it. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Ace of Cups, you're hoping to be divinely guided, supported, and not just by the divine, but also by maybe others. Maybe someone you already spoke with. Okay. Maybe you told them, you know, I think I'm going to go for this. What do you think? You're hoping that they're They've got your back, okay? And if not, you're just hoping that the universe, the divine is supporting you through this. And even just yourself, you know? I think that's what matters the most. Just your own support. That's what life is all about. It's a very lonely journey. But you're hoping to also find this once you do this, to finally get this overflowing joy, this abundance, this happiness, this finally, I achieved it. Okay. This is in your mind, it's in your hopes and fears. And I think that if you really want this, there's going to some sacrifices that have to be done here. But more than anything, stop waiting for things to improve on their own. It doesn't work that way. Okay, Pisces. Pisces, the outcome or the advice, which I usually take more as advice. Page of Wands. Go for it, even if you think you're small, too small, even if you think you're too tiny, not ready, that you don't have the right tools to start this new journey. He always reminds me of St. Jude, uh, patron of hope and faith. Now, if you're not Catholic, I'm not, but there must be, if you practice another religion, a patron who symbolizes or stands for hope and faith. And if not, this is just you, you know, keep having faith, keep being hopeful and just embark this new journey, this new beginning and be passionate about it. This two of wands, leaving that wand behind and holding the other one with one, one to hold the world in his other hand. It's exactly the same energy. He's got that one want in his hand. You might have to leave something behind, at least maybe for some of you, for a moment. But you have to embark this new journey. It's time for you to do this. Because things are not going to improve on their own. 
to only you and stop trying to stop this from coming in the only way to stop well not stopping it but maybe preparing for it that's what you have to do once you take the first initial step you're going to start preparing for this and when this comes in it's not going to hit you hard but for now you're just trying to avoid it you see it's your Piscean energy it's 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 your intuition you know your intuition is kicking really high right now you know something's going to happen and you know you have to take action but you're somehow hoping that you just turn around and look the other way things will improve on their own and that's not going to happen okay your intuition is right about something's happening but your intuition is wrong about turning away and hoping for things to get better on their own okay what do we see? The Empress. It's giving birth. That's all four queens in one. Pisces. Strong Taurus energy, by the way. Very grounded. You see, you have to stay grounded here. You have to put your feet down on reality. Bring your ass from the clouds, like I said, and take action. Give birth, start this new whatever it is that you have to do. It's time. It's time for you to do it. Okay. I'm just going to get additional message word advice from the Golden Art Nouveau. Just, let's just see what else we have. Scorpio energy is that Scorpionic Tower energy also. It's putting an end to that apathy, that whatever has to come, let it come. That's what I'm hearing. All you have to do is just get prepared. Be ready for it. Okay? And it won't be as bad as you think it is. Actually, it won't be. And this will be a transformation for your situation more than anything it's not about the transformation within you i mean of course yes but this situation is going to transform but it's up to you if you're going to be ready for it or not i don't mean to scare you okay but you can do it it's just all you have to do is just be ready for it this kind of a warnings uh, reading, and you know it. That's why you're hoping, your fear and your hopes and your fears are to be uh, protected and supported. Okay, Pisces, uh, I'm going to. Close your reading with a oracle message from the Spirit of the Animals deck. Okay. Now this message may or may not come from your animal spirit guide, but it may come from an animal that you just feel very connected to, you've been thinking of or dreaming with a lot. You just feel very connected to it, very related, or you have been seeing it lately or will be catches your attention whichever way just take it as a resonance okay. 
That was quick. Thank you. Ooh. Raven Shaman. That's a good one. You are the creator and the magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and your words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. That's nice. There's something, yeah, about some, you know, do embrace the mystery, but that's it's that energy. Face it. Don't turn your back on it. Face it. Conquer it. But do tap into that divine spiritual energy more. Just don't remain stuck thinking that if you just practice your your belief system, your religion, that things are going to improve. It's not that way. That's not the way it works. It's a connection between the divine and, and the, the three-dimensional world. You have to be active and, 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 and take action. Also, don't wait for things to improve on their own. That's your job. That's how you do your, that's how you do your real magic. Okay. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there for you. Okay. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance that you are seeking at this moment of your life. I know it's probably doesn't resonate for many of you, but I hope it does for at least one person. And if I can help one person, then my job is done. Okay. All right. Pisces, I wish you all the luck, all the strength to get out of this. I don't know what type of energy exactly it is, if it's laziness, just apathy or fear, okay? Sometimes they're all the same thing. Take action, okay? I hope to see you next time. And uh, please do click the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I would truly appreciate it. And I do hope to see you next time, okay? Stay safe, be happy, and stay very, very, very blessed. You can do it. You can do it. Okay? Goodbye.